Welcome to the Finding Partial Fractions video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be using a specially designed tool that helps you find the partial fractions step by step. So let's start off here at the top and write your function here. And let's choose a difficult one so we can see how powerful this tool is. Let's choose f at x equals x plus 5 divided by x squared plus 7x plus 12. And let's also put a square on the denominator. Now this function is really difficult to decompose into partial fractions by hand. As we know in any partial fractions problem, the first step is to try to factor the denominator. And as you can see here, the denominator decomposes into x plus 4 squared times x plus 3 squared. Now the only part where you'll have to do any work at all with this tool is that you'll have to write out the general form of the partial fractions in terms of constants a, b, c, and d, and so forth. And if you're not sure about how to find the general form of the partial fractions in terms of constants, please refer to the integration by partial fractions worksheet. The general form of the partial fractions is a over x plus 4 plus b over x plus 4 squared plus c over x plus 3 plus d over x plus 3 squared. To check if our general form of the partial fractions are correct, click on check template fractions and maple returns correct so we're good to go. And if you were to, you know, change something around, for example, let's make this into x plus 9, which we know is wrong. Check template fractions and Maple claims the template fractions are not correct. Please check your work. So therefore, let's change that back. And so we now know how the checking system works. Now let's determine the constants. This is the identity right here. And let's multiply both sides of this identity by the denominator of the fraction on the left. So let's click on expand, which clears the parentheses as well. And we get this huge equation. Let's scroll down a little bit and collect like terms and bring everything onto one side. And so Maple takes this big equation right here, takes everything onto one side and collects like terms. And now we have to solve for the constants. We know that the equations that we have to solve are c plus a equals zero, this coefficient equals zero, and so forth. And so Maple forms a matrix. We just click on form equations it returns a matrix and it also solves it for you and gives you the values of the constants which are shown right here a equals 3, b equals 1, c equals negative 3 and d equals 2 and the next step is to replace our previous general constants with these values that we had over here just click on partial fractions and maple converts the function we had originally entered in into partial fractions the eventual goal of these questions is to evaluate the integral of that function f at x now that it's in a convenient partial fractions format it's possible to do this integral by hand now it's much easier this way we can simply click on evaluate integral and maple returns the integral of the function there are five cases in the study of partial fractions that you should definitely explore we're going to look at case one which deals with doing long division to obtain the degree of the numerator to be less than that of the denominator of a rational function so let's open up case one and it asks us to find the partial fractions of the rational function x squared plus 14x plus 8 all over x plus 1 and then part b 
is to verify the partial fractions by using the clickable long division tool. Part A. Write the rational function in math mode. Just make sure you're in math mode and begin entering the function, which is x squared plus 14x plus 8, all divided by x plus 1. Step 2. Apply the context menu to the rational function. Go to conversions, partial fractions with respect to x. And this is by far the fastest way in Maple to obtain the partial fractions of any rational function. But if you'd like to know the details in terms of what is the remainder, what is the quotient, what is the divisor, and so forth, this clickable tool provided here will give you all that. So we have the same function here. Let's click on divide. And it yields the same answer, so we know it's correct. The dividend is provided. And same goes for the divisor, the quotient, and the remainder. Thank you for watching the Maple Adoption Program's Finding Partial Fractions video tutorial.